Hello, welcome to another Cake Tastic Cakes video. I'm going to show you today how to make the male ruby throated hummingbird. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Start with a template, a basic general template of a hummingbird, nothing too detailed because you'll add the details. And begin like always by tracing and cutting it out. Once you get it all cut out, you're going to start adding the depth to it. Press down on the back wing just to make the front wing stand out a little bit more. And then start accenting the body, the beak. Um, when you press down around his belly, you're going to press down under the chin and take it all the way down the tail feathers. And using your knife blade, make some accent marks in the wings to show the flight feathers. And that'll just be really good to give it some good definition. And when we paint it later on with the food coloring, it'll really stand out nicely. All right, I have the straw that I stole from a coffee shop someplace. It has a nice little sharp tip on the end. It's real small and pointy. And I'm making prints to show the feathers go down the entire body, the length of the wings, and down that one big tail feather. Now you're going to add the belly to him using just white gum paste. Wrap it around his belly and add it to the back tail feathers. And then a little bit of red gum paste, add it to his throat. And again, using the straw, put the prints on the red part of his throat because it really stands out. Wrap his beak in black, nice thin black, and a little black bead for his eye. And then we're going to start painting. I use a dark green to go over his head and his wings, and then kind of down the side of his body, not filling him all in. Uh, use it on the wings, the tail feathers, and then to accent it again, I use some black. Just to make sure you dilute it out so it's not like, oh, I'm painting in black. And go over his wing feathers and his tail feathers with the black. And if you make a mistake or it's too dark, a little bit of a damp brush on the towel or something, and it'll lighten it right up for you. So once you get that, just keep going. Make them nice and detailed. I used a light green over his whole entire body, where the green feathers are. And then I used a green shimmer to go over his head and down the outer edge of his back. To make his ruby throat shine a little bit more, I'm just using plain old red food coloring to paint on top of it just to give him nice shine to him. So now he's all done. A little bit of white, a dot on his eye just to make his eye shiny and bright. And that's it. He's done. He's really not too hard and the details matter. So that's why I said start with a template. You add all the details to it. Paint them how you want. You can keep them plain, add more, whatever. And don't forget to check out my female hummingbird video. If you found this helpful, once again, please like it and subscribe. And I will show you another video soon. Thanks. Bye.